Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video. In this part, we are going to create the channel details page. So in the channel details page, as I have shown you guys in the demo application, we are going to have a channel player. So that player is going to play our channel from the URL and we'll have the other information such as social media information, website links and so on and we'll display the description of the channel in our description in our details activity okay so we'll go ahead and create the details activity for our channel so i'm going to create new new activity here and this activity is going to be for channel detail so i will just create details click on finish and now once the gradle project sync in is finished we can start using this activity details.xml now that's done let's go ahead and design the layout that we need for our application and we're going to use exoplayer and if you remember we have added the required dependency for the exoplayer so we'll create the player view in our activity details so let me go here in the code section and add player view okay so this is our player view We'll make the match parent and 200 dp of height we'll give the id as the player view right now i'm just going to give uh, these properties so let me go to the design part and fix the constant since we are adding this player view inside the constant view we need to fix the horizontal vertical constant view here so we'll just fix that by clicking on this plus button actually we don't need this bottom constant now uh, i'm going to display the channel info text here and i will add four icons here for the facebook twitter website and youtube okay so i'm going to do that inside a card view so i will drag and drop the card view and uh, it should be just in label with the player view okay so let me fix the constant quickly here now i will add the constant layout inside this card view so that we'll be able to add multiple items here now we need a text to display the channel info text so i'm going to add a dp of margin and i'll change the text view to channel info and let's make it a little bit bigger so i'll give maybe 20 sp of size and make it bold and i'll change the color to something else let's say black and i'll remove the bottom constant here okay so it's going to adjust itself now let's go ahead and add the icons that we need and i need to add the icons so i do have the resource folder and i'm going to copy the icons from here so go here we're gonna need facebook twitter website and so copy these icons go to android studio and paste it here in the drawable okay now i can drag and drop the image view to add these icons so let me show you once i'm going to add the website and i will give the height and width of 20 dp okay that's a little small lower than i thought so i'll just give it 30 dp of width and height okay i think that's okay so let's fix the constraint in the sides here let's give 8 dp of margin okay so let's give id for this so it is for website so i'll just give website website link maybe more appropriate so yeah okay now i'm going to do similar for all the icons so i'm just going to fast forward the video you just follow along with me okay okay so these are the icons that i wanted to add here now let's go ahead and add a text view to display the channel info so let's fix that here and make it match parent we'll give 8 db 16 db maybe 8 db of margin okay and now we'll just fix the constraint here like this so this is for the channel information okay and let me just give 16 dp of sorry 16 sp of 
text size here okay we'll give the id for this as a channel to esc now this is the layout that we want to use now we'll go to our connect uh, activity now we'll go to our details class and start creating the variables for all these components so we'll start by creating a player view variable and we need image view for the icons fv twitter link yt link and web link okay and we need to display the description so we'll create the text view here okay now let's connect with the external resources so player view equals to find view id r dot id we'll use the player view id now for the fv link we'll connect the xml resources using the id fv twitter link r dot id dot twitter link and I'll do the similar thing for all other icons. And for the description, channel description. Okay. And here we will display the channel title in the toolbar. Okay. So now for the main activity, we have all these channels extracted, right? And now we have this channel adapter. So whenever user click on any of the channel, we will open this details start uh, details activity. To open the details activity, we need to set on click listener here in our item view. So using the holder, we'll reference the item view, and item view represent the each item in our recycler view. Okay, so we'll set the on click listener. We'll create new on click listener, and whenever the item is clicked, we will start the new activity. So let's create the new intent here. Intent I new intent and we need to pass the context so we can use the v the instance of view p to get the context and the destination is details dot class let me fix the spelling there okay and we will start the new activity and to start the new activity we need to reference through the context so we'll start the activity i okay now whenever we start the activity we would like to send the channel information okay so we do have the access to these channels list here so what we'll do is every time when the recycler view item is clicked we will send the particular information about that particular channel to the details activity so that we can extract the link to play the video and do other things okay so we'll pass the uh, item here as a extra so i dot put extra channel and we'll get the channels dot get will pass the position so to be able to send the parsable objects through this put extra method here we need to implement the serializable class in our channel here okay so let's go to our channel implement the serializable okay or we can use the parsable as well but uh, i prefer using serializable so let's go to the channel adapter here and now you can see we are able to send this object through this put extra method and here we will get that data so i'll create new intent and i'll name this as channel actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to create channel object so let's create this instance of channel and i will get the intent extract this realizable extra and pass the key in our case the key channel okay now we need to cast this so cast to the channel okay now i can access the channel data through this channel object here so first thing i want to do is i want to set the action bar title so toolbar title to the channel name so get support action bar dot set title and i will get the channel dot get name okay in that way we should be able to set the toolbar title as the channel name right now i will i will, I will set the description so let me set the description to our channel description so channel dot get description okay now every time when this 
FV icons or Twitter icons or YT icon is clicked, I want to send the user to the browser and open the link. Okay, so Facebook link or Twitter link or YouTube link. So to be able to do that, I'll create one method here. So I'll create new public method and name the method as open link. And I'll pass the link here through the URL parameter. And here I will start a new intent to open the browser. So intent open link open maybe and I'll create new intent and I'll create new action view from the URL and here we need to parse the URL. Okay, so we can just wrap using URI.parse. Okay, now we can start the activity open and it's going to open the browser every time when we call this open link with the given URL. Okay, so I will set the on click listener on this FV link here. Okay, so just after this, I will use FV link dot set on click listener new on click listener. I will call the open link method and pass the URL. Okay, for the Facebook, we can use the get Facebook and we'll repeat this for all the links now let's go ahead and run this application right now we have not set anything for this url uh, this player so we are we want to be able to play the video we should be able to display the channel description and channel title and we should be able to open the browser when we click on these icons here so let's run this application and see okay Actually, my servers are not running. So let me run the server first. I will rerun the application again. And as expected, we got these channels here. So let me click on one of the channel here. And it opened the new activity here. And you can see we've got this channel name channel info and if I click on Facebook it should open the Facebook of that particular but you can you see that we are getting some error here so let me check what is the error that we got when we click on the icon here okay so it is opening the Facebook here for this channel let me go back let me try here and uh, Okay, I think we have some problem in the URL. So I think I have not given the HTTPS or HTTP here in the URL. So URL is not formatted correctly. That's why this application is crashing. But if you have given the website name correctly, then it's not going to crash. So you need to go back to the PHP dashboard and edit that URL here. Okay, but if the URL is correctly formatted and it's not going to crash. So read on again and show you guys everything else is working perfectly. Okay, everything else is working perfectly. And if I click on website, it's going to open the website. Okay, so we got a channel info and so on. All right, now I'll add the back button here. I'll add the back button here and change the theme to black. So let's go to our details here and enable the back button. So to enable the back button, I can call the say display home up as enabled true. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get I'm going to implement the on options item selected okay and here I'm going to find the back button so if item dot get item ID is equals to Android dot R dot ID dot home so this is the default ID for the back button and I will just call the on back pressed okay and this should enable that particular back button there so let me run again click on this channel okay now if i click on back we should go back to the home page all right now one last thing i want to change this to black so to change that we will go to theme here and we'll just change this primary and secondary color to black all right now rerun this again open the any channel 
and it is in the black okay now this is it for this video in the next video we'll implement our exo player and play the live video okay if we get time we will also implement the navigation draw and implement the category wise implement the category activity where we will display the channel from the category and we'll also display the number of categories in the activity okay so we are really close to end of this tutorial series so i hope you guys are learning something new and let me know what are the stuff that you are learning and if you get any error i'm always here to help you don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one Thank you.